We're live. Good morning. And at it, this time, will you please start their recordings? PC recording has started. According Good morning. Panel. And well, you Wait. ready? Uh, no, not yet. Thank you. Back up uh, is rolling. Thank you. And Sergeant I can't Polite. remember. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Sergeant Polite, if you'd be able to start with your opening statement. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Good morning, and welcome to the remote hearing on rules, privileges, and elections. Will council members and staff please turn on their video at this time? Thank you. To minimize disruptions, please place our cell phones, electronics to vibrate. Chair, we are ready to begin. Okay, thank you. Good morning and welcome to the Committee on Rules, Privileges and Elections. My name is Karen Kostelitz and I am Chair of the Committee on Rules, Privileges and Elections. Before we begin this hearing, I would like to introduce the council members of this committee who have joined us today. Minority Leader Stephen Matteo, Council Member Adrian Adams, Council Member Deborah Rose, Council Member Richie Torres, and Council Member Mark Traeger, and the Speaker Corey Johnson will be joining us shortly. I would also like to acknowledge Ruth's Committee Council Lance Polivi and the staff members of the Council's Investigative Unit, Chuck Davis, Chief Compliance Officer, and Investigators Andre Johnson Brown, Alicia Vassell, and Ramses Booten. Today, the Rules Committee will consider certain changes to the membership of the Standing Committees of the Council and the Land Use Committees. The first topic is pursuant to Rule 10.20 of the Rules of the City Council, the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections can recommend an amendment to any rule of the Council with the later vote of the majority of all council members. Today, we are hearing a pre-considered resolution that would amend Rule 7.00A by changing the membership of certain standing committees of the council and the land use subcommittees. This rule change requires a majority rule of all members of the Committee of Rules, Privileges, and Elections pursuant to Rule 7.70a and a majority vote of all council members pursuant to rule 10.20. Do any members have any questions or comments about the pro pro proposed rule changes? I think seeing none. Okay, it's time to take a vote. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on rules, privileges, and elections, resolution 1497, Chair Kozlowit. I vote aye. Rose. I vote aye. Torres. I vote aye, and I wanna wish a happy birthday to Adrian Adams. <laughs> Traeger. I vote aye and extend very happy and blessed birthday to my colleague, Councilmember Adrian Adams. Adam. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you, Congressman Torres. I vote aye. Matteo. I vote aye. I vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Resolution 1497 has been adopted by the committee. Okay, I'm going to hold the um, meeting open until the speaker joins us. And I want to say I'm sorry for such a long meeting. <laughs> <laughs> the speaker should be joining. Yours are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Just a reminder to everyone, we have a rules committee meeting next week on the 17th, three board of commission reappointments. Um, the Democrat from Staten Island, Miss Patricia Ann Taylor, who is very, 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 very great. <laughs> Councilman <laughs> Rose, no. <laughs> um, Bronx, Miguelina Camilo, um, who's being reappointed. 
and Manhattan, Tiffany Townsend. So you'll be re receiving notices, their resumes, and they answer the pre-hearing questions um, the beginning of next week, most likely Monday. We've been joined by Speaker Johnson. Aye. Thank you. Bill. Vote on resolution 1497 is now at seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. And Speaker has joined us. Oh, we said aye. Okay. Yeah. All right. This meeting is adjourned.